Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to be replacing the thermal pads on a Zotac 3080. It's a three fan version. I have another one right here. So it's going to be this same exact card. We're going to replace the thermal pads on all of our VRAM. So if you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe with the bell. Go to CryptoLLC.org if you're looking for someone to set up ASIC or GPU mining farm for you. Or if you want to buy yourself some ASICs or GPUs, go to CryptoLLC.org. And also, our slogan here is Bitcoin can save your wealth or saves your wealth. Jesus Christ saves your soul. So make sure you have both of those in your life. All right. So we got a lot of VRAMs on 3080s. Total of four chips here. Four chips here. We have one at the top, one at the bottom. Total of 10 chips. Each one's a gig. So that's 10 gigabytes. They come with these thermal pads, I'll show you here. This is the uh, stock thermal pads. Oh, you can see a whole big mess over here of uh, replacing thermal pads on a lot of our cards. But you can kind of see, let me get some focus shots of this thermal paste, thermal pads. You know, they're like mediocre. They don't, I don't think they have a good conductivity or heat transfer, not conductivity, they don't have any conductivity. But they, don't, but they don't have a good heat transfer. So we're going to get rid of these and put on our higher quality thermal pads, which I'll show you over here. We use like this type of stuff here. I um, also found some other thermal pads that are rated at 14. See this one here? It's rated at 14. Um, I'm thinking that maybe the stock thermal pads probably were like cheaper like maybe six or, or three I'm assuming that's probably what they used for their stock I mean, just by touching it and feeling it it doesn't feel like a good quality thermal pad it feels pretty cheap so get rid of that um, also for these Zotac 3080s you see this chip right here this little tiny chip it's not a VRAM chip right but they are also cooling it by putting a little thermal, oops, there it goes. Putting a little thermal pad. Oh no, now it's in that hole. Shoot. Well, it's not very important anyway, and they don't conduct anything, but I want to get it out of there. Basically, it's just to cool off that little chip, which is not VRAM. So it doesn't really matter. You don't need to actually replace this little piece of thermal pad. So I'm just gonna put it back on. There's no point replacing it. And then just put it in this little corner right here, which is interesting place to put it. You know, um, they didn't. They not connected to the other thermal pads. It's just all all on its own in that little corner. So we're gonna leave that one. We're gonna put on our new stuff. But before we do that, we gotta wipe down these these thermal the thermal. Uh, like leftover residue so we got to get rid of that you can see here give you some close-up shots of that you see that it's not water that's like residue from a thermal pad it's not water so if I touch it, it's a little bit sticky see that it leaves some fingerprints so we're gonna wipe that away make sure we don't have any of that cheap thermal pad uh, residue left on the chip get rid of it like that so it's nice and clean and then we're going to clean off this over here now we also want to investigate let me actually do this first before I continue so again this is just a thermal pad area so we just gotta get rid of all the residue and that's good all right so that's good now in terms of the uh, thermal paste, before we apply any thermal paste, by the way, we use something like this. We also bought some other thermal paste that, that uh, has 14 MKs. So good quality thermal paste. We're gonna put that on in the future. But as of right now, we have this, which is good as well. MX Force Arctic, I think it's Arctic Silver. So we're gonna use that. But what we do is we check the quality of the thermal paste that's still on here. And how we do that is we kind of just see how, how it feels. If, it, if it's hard, dry, 
you know and if it is we remove it and this one does feel dry so we're gonna have to remove that and how we do that is we spray some some uh, rubbing alcohol tear off a piece by the way I'm doing this with one hand so I'm using my phone to record this we tear off one piece of our just shop towel and then we use it to remove the old thermal paste and we just gotta get enough off the chip itself. We don't need to get the corners off because this stuff is non-conductive. The thermal paste is non-conductive so it doesn't matter that it's on the little tiny chips next to the core. That plays no impact. What matters is we just get it off the core. So have nice even heat removal. So we do that. Again, the thermal paste, if it gets on the chips or anything, it, 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 it doesn't do anything. It's not, it has no negative impact because it's not conductive. It doesn't matter. Then I put some over here, like this. Then we're gonna clean this off as well. Again, and the reason why we're doing this is because the thermal paste is pretty dry and it was probably not good quality anyway. We don't do this for all carts. It just depends on the thermal paste um, condition of the thermal paste. So the thermal paste, if it's in bad condition, then we remove it. And I'm keeping my hand on the card and wiping it at the same time. So, you know, obviously this would be a lot easier if I was not recording with my left hand and doing everything with my right hand. Okay. So, like that, that's good. You know, this is just a little bit of residue. It doesn't, doesn't do anything. It's clean. All right. It's clean, except you got to wipe away a little bit over here like that all right now I'm gonna put down the phone and I'm going to uh, replace the thermal pads all right thermal pads have been replaced got our new ones on here you can see that we didn't cut them exactly perfect because for this Zotac card you do need them exactly perfect sometimes the chips are so close or like the capacitors are so close to the chip or it's so close to the core that you need to have a perfect cut and that happens on different cards for this Zotac 3 fan card you don't need that it doesn't have to be perfectly cut. So we just cut them out where it covers the whole chip, which is the most important part. You can see it's covering the whole entire chip. There are no corners of the chip that are not covered. The whole chip is covered. And then at the top here, we're not gonna have any, any indentations or change in the level of the metal. So we're not gonna have any of the, you know, the thermal pad that kind of overlapping, hitting other chips, anything like that. So everything's good, ready to go. I also put the paste on there. Again, we're using high, high quality paste, not using cheap stuff. So new thermal pads, all that, these are at 12, and the thermal paste I think is 12 or 14. Everything's good to go. Now we just put it back together, and it should be good. Um, now, in terms of performance, what should you expect from changing out thermal pads on a Zotac 3 fan 3080? Uh, we noticed that from changing them out, we dropped about 20 Celsius on the chips. So it's a big change. Um, 20 Celsius is pretty huge, and we replace all uh, the thermal pads on all of our Zotac cards um, after realizing such a huge change. Now, in the winter time, it might not matter for you. You still could be under 100, maybe running 95, 90. But once you get close to summertime, uh, I might not be, handle that. So make sure you replace your thermal pads, especially if you're located, and you're mining in an area that's a lot hotter, um, has uh, more warmer temperatures throughout the year. And you, you know, you're gonna have to replace these. So if you guys are planning to buy yourself some Zotac cards, they're fine cards. They work fine, but you're gonna have to replace the thermal pads, especially if you're located, like, you know, in Brazil or, or you're like you're mining in Mexico or, or you're mining like in Texas or something like that, or any other place that has warm temperature. All right, well that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys like it. You know what to do? Hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. Go to CryptoLLC.org if you want to buy yourself some GPUs, you want to start a mining operation, you want to invest in ASICs, and so on. We're going to be taking apart more cards here in the future, taking apart some EVGA. 
So make sure you subscribe, you'll see uh, how it's built, you'll see how we place the thermal pads on those. And that's going to be it for this one, until next time, bye.